Let me tell you a little story. Maybe, no, maybe none of you will laugh. When I was 16, there was this bitch called Helen. She was a white girl. She was dating this fucking gangster. And I was talking to her in college, and then her boyfriend found out. So when I left college, him and five of his friends jumped me. So I walked out, and this guy goes, hey, Andrew. I was like, yeah, what? And he threw a punch, but threw it like a cricket. He was a cricket player, and he threw it like a cricket overhand like this. Yeah, like and I slipped it, and then like all of his friends jumped me. And I managed to like balk a few and run away, right? I got back in the college, and I was fucking furious. And after a few seconds, I found I found Anthony. I said, Anthony, bro, there's, there's five of them that are some black guys. Like, all right, fuck it. And we went out trying to find them, right? And they, they left. But these five Five guys jumped me for this bitch. He's like, I have to fuck this bitch because this guy now thinks he's something. So I'm talking to this girl still. So tell him, come again. Da -da -da. I knew he was gonna bring like 20 guys. So I had like my black friends and we had this race war going on. Eventually, about three months later, I had a break between four, 12 and four, but it was an hour walk each way to and from college. And I convinced her to walk back to my house. I'm with Helen, we're in my room, right? My mom ain't in, everything's good. I'm kissing Helen, da -da -da, about to fuck Helen. And my phone starts ringing and I'm like, oh, Try to ignore it for one call, try to ignore it for another call, try to ignore it for a third call. It gets weird. You can't just ignore the phone that won't stop ringing. So I'm with Helen in bed, I'm like, sorry, I have to answer this phone call. It's my mom. I'm like, what, mom, what? She goes, I just, I was supposed to meet my dad for a drink and I just went to his apartment and he's dead, your granddad's dead. And I was like, all right, I'll call you back. I put the phone down and just went back to kiss Helen. And she goes, she just said your fucking granddad's dead and you're just trying to kiss me. And I was like, I was like, I was like, well, bitch, he's dead now. What the fuck you want me to do? He's gone. He wants me to fuck you. He knows what you need to do. So I'm leaving. I was like, no, granddad, no. Why now? Never saw her again. That's the end of the story.